In this video, we're going to try and find the Taylor series for this function centered at two. So, uh, so as in the previous video, we can break we can break this one fraction up into uh, into one fraction, adding another fraction. Well, it turns out that a and b. It turns out that a and b. A equals negative one and b equals two. Um, so, so what it means is we can break this fraction up as one fraction taking away another fraction. So because we're, we're trying to find Taylor's series centered at 2, we want to put um, x minus 2 into here. And we want to put x minus 2 into here. So, uh, so rewrite this as, um, as this, as uh, 1 minus 2 and then x minus uh, 2. Because no, no matter what, we, because we want to find it, we want to center it at 2, we've got to have this in here. So that's this bit here. But the thing is, um, this thing here is not exactly the same as this. Uh, if you look at this here, so here you've got 1, 1, and then uh, here you've got negative 2x, and we've got negative 2x here, which is good. But here you've got a, a, a positive 4. So you, you've got to, you've got to uh, negate that positive 4. So take away 4 here. So now this is exactly the same as this. So now let's, let's do the same for this one here. So it will be, 1 and then we want x minus 2 into this x here so this would be this would be um, x minus 2 but then currently uh, this times this will give you a negative x which is good because this is negative x and then this times this will be positive um, positive 2 but then we need to negate that so it would be negative 2 so now uh, now this is exactly the same as this but just written differently so uh, so now this mer you can merge it with this so that would then give you that would then give you negative one so this um, merge it with this that would then give you negative one and then you've got your minus minus and then this thing here this thing here and then this one here get this merge it with this that would then give you negative three and then you've got your minus minus and so on so so this thing here uh, this thing here can be rewritten as as this. So so these two are exactly the same. This is exactly the same as this, but just written differently. So uh, but the good thing is we've got a because we want to center it at x minus two. We've got a x minus two in here, x minus two in here. So now uh, now we want to either use this or this. At this stage we're unsure. So let's just try and tidy this up. Um, we, we, we want to get it in the form of 1 divided by 1, either minus x or, or plus x. So we want to get it in, in the form of 1 over 1 and then plus or minus another thing. So get it into this form or this form. So let's rewrite this as, uh, as well, factor out uh, 2 over negative 3. And then now you've got 1 over. Now rewrite, rewrite this as this. Because if, if you look at this, this times this will then give you 2, and then this times this will give you negative 3, and then this times this will then give, well, this 3 here will cancel out with this 3, so it will then give you this. So this is exactly the same as this, but written differently. And then you can see now, now it's of, uh, it is now of this form, because you've got 1, 1, 1, 1, and then plus, plus, and then a bubble here. That will be your bubble. And then rewrite this, rewrite this as, um, as this. So, uh, so, so, um, so factor out the negative one. So you can imagine this as being negative one. Then this would be a positive. And then now, now, well, negative one, you can carry this negative one and then it becomes a plus. So, so this whole thing here, this is negative, now it's a plus because you factor out the negative one. So, uh, so this whole thing here can be rewritten as this. So now we can, uh, we can make use of this now. Um, so, so that's, that's, uh, well, I'll, I'll continue in the next video. We are currently at this stage. Okay.